to my summer morning routine i can't believe that it's already summer i feel like i haven't done like a dedicated morning routine in a long time since the last time i did one was for my winter morning routine that was i feel like so long ago like six months ago now which is crazy so good morning i'm excited to take you guys along my morning today and show you guys like my updated routine look at how big the girls are getting i actually had a weird dream about them last night that i was in this like house and somebody dropped off like 10 full-size cats that looked like them but they were all big and it was like the weirdest dream ever oh my gosh that is now that i'm thinking of it that's so weird but anyways usually my morning starts off and i just i'm kissing my cats they sleep with us throughout the night. Um, they sleep like right above my head or like cuddled into my arm. And they're so cute. But anyways, so my morning routine has actually switched up quite a bit from the last time I showed it. Because I used to just like take so much time in the morning, I feel like, and not be as quick. But now I just, I kind of wake up and I'm go, go, go. So I keep this little tub of oil in my cabinet. And this is coconut oil with a little spoon. And I oil pull. If you guys don't know what oil pulling is, long story short basically pulls the bacteria out of your mouth in the morning it helps with your breath helps with your gum health health helps with your just oral health in general and i like to switch this around for about 10 minutes so this is the first thing that i do once i wake up and then i'll come back a bit later to brush my teeth so i'm gonna switch this around and then go get ready for the gym and then brushing my teeth is like now one of the last things that i do so that i have time to oil pull because i used to only oil pull on the weekends but i love the way that it makes my mouth feel it makes it so clean in the morning and it's just the best feeling ever so doing it regularly i've seen like so much improvement and anyways yeah ideally you'd want you want to oil pull for i think it's like 5 to 20 minutes cheers now i'm gonna go get changed for the gym and then i'll talk to you guys once i brush my teeth and stuff <laughs> So I just put the coconut oil out into the toilet, by the way, or the trash, because you're not supposed to put it in the sink. And then I rinse my mouth out, brush my teeth, and now I'm going to tongue scrape. If you guys have never tongue scraped, please do me a favor and go order one on Amazon. They're like $10. I will link this one down below. You actually need one. Like, it's not even a should I? No, it's like you need to get one. This will improve your oral hygiene and you're just like overall breath and everything by a million so please go get a tongue scraper the oil pulling plus tongue scraper combo in the morning is unmatched like it's elite i don't even need to use mouthwash in the morning anymore because it just does it for me and it's amazing yeah seriously go buy yourself a tongue scraper it's a game changer i passed this through like three times and i'm good to go for the morning and i like doing it after i brush my teeth so let's do some tongue scraping oh hello baby okay Um, okay, last thing before I head downstairs is I apply deodorant every morning before I work out. This is the Schmidt Swan Rose and Vanilla. I like it, but it like stains my black stuff that I wear white. Not stains, but it gets like you get like deodorant marks from it. So that's the only thing. But other than that, I do really like it. And I only use natural deodorants, like without aluminum, etc. So this one is good, has good ingredients. But if you guys are wearing black, you just have to beware. Like this is fine because it doesn't really touch my armpits. But if I put like a black sweater on or something or a shirt, it's going to get on there. So yeah, I prefer the native spray deodorant just because that one is natural and it also doesn't transfer. So yeah, I do like this one. It just transfers, which I hate. So anyways, still going to use it up, but that's my opinion on deodorants. Schmitz also actually has a spray as well, but don't buy it because it literally doesn't spray. It works for two weeks and then the whole bottle here, literally show you guys actually have it. This is like a full bottle of product, like you could hear it, it's full. It stops, like it completely stops spraying, like I'm pressing the lever down and nothing comes out and this has happened for like three bottles now and I've been calling them and they've been replacing the bottles but every single time they stop working after two weeks and they're completely full so it's so stupid but anyways, at least this one works. Okay, let's go on.
water has become such an important part of my morning routine. I am a firm believer in you need to at least start the day with a glass of water because it just makes the world of a difference for me. So I recently got this new instant hot countertop reverse osmosis system by Waterdrop. It's their K19. It's actually the best thing ever. Waterdrop is an innovative brand dedicated to improving global water quality. It specializes in developing efficient water purifiers aimed at providing safe and clean drinking water, ensuring the health and well-being of you and your family and whoever is drinking it. I cannot express how much purified water makes a difference in your body and the long-term longevity of your health. I used to think that you had to drill in reverse osmosis systems and that they were super ugly, but then I found Water Drops countertop system and it's amazing, it's aesthetic, and it just looks really sleek and good in my kitchen. And it's even portable, which is awesome. It does purification and also heating. So it's a two-in-one, guys. This gives me instant hot water to make my warm lemon water in the morning. I don't need to wait any time for water to boil. It has a four-stage efficient filtration system. It is so purified. It's actually insane. It also has 99.9% .9 UV sterilization as well added on top of, to the filter. Their dual V sterilizer removes sediments, rust, large particles, color, odor, and chlorine fluoride from your water. It tastes so much better and it also obviously reduces the usage of bottled water. So we are saving plastic. It also has an intelligent display screen. It has a four mode customizable water capacity. So you can customize how much water you want to dispense. Dispensing three cups of pure water produces only one cup of wastewater. The lifespan of this filter is around 12 months and it's only $69 guys to replace it, which is so cheap per year if you think about it that way. And there's absolutely no installation required. You literally just plug it in and it's ready to go basically. So anyways, I'm obsessed with this new water drop reverse osmosis system and if you guys want to shop it i will have the link down below of course they are actually having a sale on amazon right now so you can go check that out in the link in my description okay guys just about to leave gonna just make sure i got everything in my gym bag so i like bringing a brush to the gym to put up my hair um and then i bring a towel in case i go in the sauna i got my headphones of course and then i just have this kind of toiletry bag with a bunch of random things like hair elastics headbands claw clip and i also have this throat spray i carry perfume just like a bunch of random stuff and then also my tripod for my camera if i'm filming at the gym and that goes in here and then i also i always like to keep an extra protein bar on me just in case i'm in like an emergency hunger situation and yeah i also have like my ankle straps for the cable to do leg backs or whatever and yeah that's basically all i bring to the gym and then obviously my phone and my water bottle so that's like kind of what's in my gym bag and okay we're ready to leave now let's head to the gym with joel we always go together oh that is a sleigh and it motivates me so much more going with him because he holds me accountable so he's waiting on me right now so anyways okay i've been taking so long let's go to the gym So we finished up at the gym and such a good workout today. Today's Friday and it just 
mm, working out on a friday is the best thing ever because i always take the weekend off anyways we just got to the grocery store um i don't always grocery shop in the mornings obviously every day that's a lot but i do grocery shop in the mornings when i grocery shop if that makes sense so this morning i just need to get a couple things to kind of restock for the weekend so we stopped off at the grocery store and i'm going to do a quick morning shop i love getting my groceries done at the beginning of the day just because i hate having to like go out midday and do it so i'd rather just like while i'm out in the momentum going to the going to the gym etc it's nice to also just go to the grocery store get that done and then come home it just feels very productive and yeah i just love getting shit done in the morning so i don't need to like drag it on throughout the day that's like my number one tip is if you guys have any like tasks you need to do during the day that are daunting or whatever not that grocery shopping is daunting but i'm just saying like it just feels good to get things done at the beginning of the day so anyways let's go in get a few things i am making egg bites for breakfast i want to try a new recipe so we're going to do that together this morning and i just need to get some ingredients for that so let's go in and get some ingredients <laughs> officially home now from the gym and the grocery store so let me give you guys a bit of a haul of what i got for the egg bites i've been wanting to make egg bites for a long time now joel's mom actually sent me a reel on instagram of making homemade egg bites i ha actually have made them before but they didn't really turn out that good because i just didn't make them right so i'm gonna make them right today and make them taste just like the ones you could get store bought i bought a package of frozen egg bites from the grocery store to try them out they were good but they were like mind blowing. They weren't like, oh my God, best thing ever. It was just kind of like, I could definitely make these at home, make so much more for a, so much cheaper. And obviously they'll be healthier because I know what I'm putting in them. I can literally freeze them myself because when I made them the first time, I was like, oh my gosh, these are going to go bad. We have to eat them. And I didn't even think of freezing them. Freezing is the answer to everything. I didn't even realize you could freeze spinach. And then as soon as I started buying spinach, I started freezing it because I don't really use that much spinach, but when I want it, I want it. And so I started freezing my spinach and it's a game changer because then you can just take it out whenever you want it. So anyways, we're going to be freezing like the rest of them so that I can literally just heat it up in the air fryer or whatever really quickly for breakfast so I don't need to spend time cooking. So got a pepper. I got some bacon. I got some 2% organic cottage cheese. And then I just got some spinach. So that's a little haul. So I'm kind of lightly following a recipe just to know like how long to cook it for and stuff. First thing I'm going to do is cook the bacon on the stove, like cut it into little pieces and then cook it on the stove. So I'm going to get the pan preheated and then we'll chop off the bacon. And then I'm also going to boil a kettle of water. Apparently in order to get that really like steamy moist texture on the inside of the egg bites, you want to put a, <laughs> it's so weird, like a thing of boiling water in the oven so that it steams up and it cooks them really nicely. So I'm going to try that because the last time I made egg bites, they just weren't it. They weren't that good and I couldn't understand why. So potentially this is a game changer. I also know cottage cheese is a must for the texture. So I'm really excited and I really hope these turn out good. Okay, let's get the pan heating up. I get this avocado spray from Costco. This is like one of my favorite Costco finds ever because it is only like 15 bucks for two of these. And if you were to go buy them at like a regular grocery store, a mini version of this costs like 20 bucks. So such a good deal at Costco and it's the avocado oil spray. So it's not like the processed, you know, canola oil. I use oil to cook literally everything and I'm constantly consuming oil. So it's like something that you wouldn't really think of going healthier, but it does make a difference. Okay, the recipe is only using six eggs and four slices of bacon. So I thought I was gonna use way more, but that's okay. If you guys are vegetarian, you can easily make these egg bites, just don't put the bacon in them. And you can just make them with the veggies and they would still be so good. So you can definitely just modify these to, you know, your dietary restrictions. Oh my God, why do I feel like this bacon is like 10 feet long? Like, what is this? This is large bacon. I think I'm cutting this. I just put the bacon on and now I'm going to cut the pepper into just like really little minuscule pieces. The recipe that I'm using doesn't actually have any vegetables. It doesn't have spinach or pepper, but I'm just kind of modifying it. Even mushrooms would be good. 
I actually love peppers. Like peppers are one of my favorite vegetables. They're just so sweet and they're so good, especially with ranch. Oh my gosh. I always go for the peppers in a veggie platter. Fun fact. I'm gonna preheat the oven and we will start doing the actual egg bites. The oven is preheating and it's supposed to take a baking dish like this and then fill it with your boiling water. So I'm just gonna do this like halfway, I guess. I guess that should be good. It says to place it on the bottom rack and then have your egg bites be kind of in the middle. So I forgot this water is boiling. I gotta be careful with it. Okay, I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six, a whole row of eggs. This is gonna make breakfast so much easier. Hopefully, I just hate cooking breakfast. I don't know why. It's not that I hate cooking it. I don't know what it is. I just, I always feel like I make such a mess in the kitchen all the time. And I feel like I'm constantly in the kitchen cleaning. And I feel like that's where it stems from. I just don't like cleaning up my mess all the time. <laughs> and then if I get lazy, then it accumulates. And then it's this big task. And especially in the morning, I want to start my day. I don't want to clean, you know? Okay. I just put six eggs in there. Now I'm going to open my new cottage cheese. It says to put a cup and a quarter cup. If you guys didn't know, cottage cheese has a lot of protein in it. It has good macros, apparently. That's what Joel said. So that's good. So the recipe actually calls for a cup and a quarter cup of shredded Gruyere cheese. And I don't have that. I don't really have much cheese. So I don't really want them to be super cheesy anyway. So I have a little bit of this goat cheese left. And I'm just going to grate that into it. So honestly, you could probably use any cheese. Heaping a quarter teaspoon salt. I don't know why it says to put cornstarch in there, but. So we're gonna do a heaping quarter teaspoon salt. That doesn't seem like enough, but I guess we'll see. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. It says to put half a teaspoon of hot sauce, which is the weirdest thing ever, but okay i'll do it anyways we'll see that about sums it up now i feel like i just did a million things so i'm gonna get this blended and then I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then we'll assemble and put them in the oven okay finally <laughs> made it to the final step what is in here i'm gonna spray my muffin tin with oil on all of them because you do not want them sticking that would be not ideal so make sure you grease it up okay now i'm going to be putting a little scoop hand pinch of peppers at the bottom dispersing that i just realized i should probably chop the spinach up at least a little bit actually i can just pick out like the little ones and put them in here it's not that big of a deal because there is little little leaves which are cute so we'll just put those in here okay disperse <laughs> officially done i'm going to pop them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes at 300 while the egg bites are cooking it is drink time usually i make my drink after breakfast because i just like to eat first i either have a hot coffee an iced coffee a matcha it really depends day to day what i'm feeling but i always make sure to have a little special sweet treat of a drink today i want to do matcha but it really just depends when i make my drink in the morning it depends what i'm doing that day it depends what i'm feeling that day so it varies sometimes i do it after i shower and get ready for the day today i'm going to do it before just because it works out but it really just depends yeah since egg bites are cooking i have no patience and i want my little drink so let's make it also having matcha on an empty stomach is not bad versus having coffee on an empty stomach is pretty bad like it doesn't affect me well so that is another factor um why we're choosing matcha today because i want my little drink now but how cute are my new little cups i got them off of amazon but i have been using this magic matcha for so long now years now and it's my favorite matcha ever it's mixed with like functional mushrooms so it gives you like more energy more focus throughout the day and there's like a lot of good ingredients in here there's organic lion's mane there's organic cordyceps mushrooms if you guys have ever heard of functional mushrooms you know what that is but they're super super good for you and i want to start incorporating them more in into my diet so this is an amazing way to do it and it doesn't even taste any different than like your regular matcha it tastes exactly 
just as good and it's also ceremonial grade matcha so this stuff is really really amazing quality and it lasts so long anyways if you guys want to check them out i will link it down below but it's just my favorite matcha i'm just going to put in about a teaspoon just over a teaspoon i'd say maybe even like a teaspoon and a half also matcha has so many good antioxidants and stuff because it's green tea now i'm going to go to my water drop and put some instant hot water in here I got the hot water in i just put like that much now i'm going in with maple syrup i'm going to put around like two heaping little of these spoons this is like i don't know a teaspoon but two heaping spoons of this and that is the sweetness that i like it also depends like how sweet your milk is obviously so how much you're gonna put now i'm gonna go in with my whisk and mix her all together now I'm gonna go with my circular ice. This stuff just like makes my drinks so much better. <laughs> I make these um, ice cubes from my water drop machine. So it's filtered ice cubes, which is amazing because my fridge does not make filtered reverse osmosis ice cubes, obviously. So these are key. Now I'm going in, this is my homemade milk that I make. You guys have seen me make it a thousand times. I have a recipe on my TikTok if you guys wanna check it out, but my favorite homemade milk ever it's almond cashew so good and that is basically my little matcha recipe and she turns out so good every time close the lid and cheers to our cute little summer matcha mm. wow i made that good good this is amazing this is so yummy i recommend you all try it Egg bites are officially cooked. I'm gonna take one out and we're gonna do a little bit of a taste test. They look good. I actually had them in there for like 28 minutes because they weren't looking cooked, but I think they are now. So let's taste them and try them out. Okay, I think that I took it out a little too early so it kind of fell apart because it's super, super hot. The texture looks on freaking point. This looks like store-bought. Let me taste her. Oh my god. If you don't make these like right now, you're insane. These are amazing. The texture is exactly like the Starbucks ones. And this is so good. This is amazing. This is actually like revolutionary for me. These are even better than the ones that I bought at the grocery store. Top notch. Top notch. I'm gonna like batch make these and put them in the freezer to always have them. It's actually amazing. Like I'm not even over exaggerating right now. Oh my goodness, you guys need to make these. I'll also have the recipe linked down below so you guys can check it out. Mmm. So now is the time of the day I do my makeup. I try to do my makeup every day. It's something I aim to do, but honestly, there's just those days where I just don't feel like it and I don't do it. But the reason why I try to do it every single day is because it really just makes me more productive makes me feel better it makes me more inclined to get things done and film not just doing my makeup but like just getting myself ready for the day and that includes doing my makeup so yeah after I eat breakfast and i do all that i shower obviously and then i try to get my makeup done right away and usually when i'm around the house i'm just wearing sweatpants so i got my sweatpants on right now i'm just wearing this tank i call it my post shower outfit i just put on something comfy and then if i'm going out i will get like in a real outfit but i like to be comfy around my house since it's summer i thought i'd show you guys a few of my like summer makeup products that i'm loving right now so i have been using the la roche pose sunscreen for a long time now ever since last summer and i've been using it every single day throughout the winter it's so good i love it the way it dries down it's perfect i don't have the tinted one i know that apparently the tinted one is really good but i've only ever tried the clear one so maybe i'll try the tinted one this summer but i really love her i'm already on like my second bottle and she's almost done so i need to buy another one and it's very affordable in comparison to like your high-end sunscreen you can get it at your local you know shoppers drug mart or something also on amazon i will link it down below if i remember one thing i have been loving is the elf halo glow just because it is super light on the skin it feels like you're not wearing anything but it gives you a really nice like sheer tint i wouldn't say it gives you any coverage but it gives you a tint and a glow so i love putting on my sunscreen and then putting on the elf halo glow i don't do this every every single day but i do do this on days where i just want a bit more zhuzh shininess you know oomph to my face but i feel like this is just such a good summer product that would be good to wear at the beach if you want to wear a little bit of makeup it's just perfect because it's not it's not cakey at all actually it's very very light 
so I love that. And I've also been using these Drunk Elephant Be Goldie Bright Drops. This kind of gives a similar effect to the Elf Halo Glow. These don't have any coverage at all or really a tint. They just make your skin super dewy. I put them on just now before I started filming. So I actually really, really like these. But this is for a little bit more of a tint if that makes sense. So those have been like my top favorite products. Basically everything else in my makeup routine I've been using for a long, long time now. You guys know I like to keep my makeup super natural and I am still using the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. You guys know this is my favorite. I have a shade that matches my skin tone and then a lighter shade to kind of just brighten up my face. Yeah, I really, especially in the summer, I don't like to wear too much makeup because I just don't like the feeling of it on my face especially in the hot weather and i just feel like i look better with more minimal natural dewy makeup so that's my vibe also i will shout out some products before i do my makeup i have been loving the rare beauty bronzer stick or contour stick or whatever in the shade happy soul this blends in so nicely and it's my first time trying it i just recently got it like a couple months ago and i really really enjoy it i really like it and I have also been using the Laura, this is kind of new too, the translucent um, loose powder. This gives me oil control throughout the day because I was having a problem with that. She's really good, like her, and there's so much product in here that this is going to last me a long, long, long time. My favorite highlighter is the Merit Beauty one in the shade Kava. I love this so much. It's so, this has already lasted me like two years, and I think it's going to last me another five because there's so much product in here and I don't use a lot. It's just like the perfect dewy highlighter. It doesn't look fake, you know? I love this Benetint for the summer. I put it on my lips and for a lighter makeup day it would be good on my cheeks as well and yeah my favorite mascara all-time favorite is a l'oreal telescopic you guys already know this so so freaking amazing and i have been using the Too faced um blush the powder blush i love it so much this is such a good nice summer dull pink shade really really pretty for my eyebrow gel i use the nyx brow glue really like it it gives a really nice strong hold i've been wanting to try the benefit brow one so maybe i'll try that soon but anyways i'm gonna do my makeup fast forward this and i love watching youtube in the morning while i do my makeup to you know catch up with my favorite youtubers and just like a time where i feel like i was so productive in the morning i did so much already and now's my time to kind of just chill out and get ready for the day while watching some youtube so let's do that get ready for the day and do our makeup <laughs> really quick one thing that i have been obsessed with doing is heating up my eyelash curler i know this isn't revolutionary and a lot of people do it but i recently discovered it and i just take my dyson heat her up a little bit and curl them and it's like nothing i've ever experienced because my eyelashes actually stay curled it curls them so well so if you guys have trouble with your lashes staying up i would recommend heating your curler you just do it for a few seconds just make sure it's not too hot before you curl and like feel it and it's so much better i don't wear mascara every day i only wear mascara when i'm going out or for specific filming days but on a day-to-day -day basis i honestly don't wear mascara because i don't know i just don't feel like it i'd rather not i like a no mascara look especially for the summer so it's very crucial and important that my eyelashes stay curled so this method is really really good okay guys now is the time where i sit down and get started for the day i have to check my emails in the morning i basically like to plan out my day make a to-do list for myself that's really really important i just sometimes feel lost in the day without a to-do list i just keep a notebook on my desk that i jot whatever i have to do that day down i don't really do anything fancy for it i have an ongoing notion of like my plan but in terms of like an everyday to-do list i just write it on paper and if i'm on the go and i have like so many things i need to remember i'll write it like on my phone on my notes app or something that's something that i prioritize and that i would really suggest you do is make a to-do list at the start of the day even if it's like just writing things down that's as stupid as like fold my laundry or take out the garbage having that to-do list puts you in a momentum once you get the first thing done it's going to motivate you to just like keep going to check everything off and then you actually feel like a sense of accomplishment at the end of the day and also sometimes we don't realize how much we get done during the day but if you 
sit down and think back to everything you did today you'll be like wow i actually did do a lot you don't realize it unless you can like visualize and see it you know sometimes you feel like you didn't do anything but you're like wait i actually did a lot so anyways i have been recently starting to incorporate more gratitude into my life because i feel like it's just a magic potion and i feel like an amazing time to do that is the start of your day in the morning i used to do gratitude right when i woke up in my five minute journal but i honestly stopped that because it just felt like i was doing it to do it and i wasn't really putting any emotion or weight behind it i was writing down oh i'm grateful for this i'm grateful for that but did i really feel it not really i was just writing it down to write it down and complete the day you know so i am going to start incorporating a new method of gratitude i recently got this cute little notebook from urban outfitters and it was just so meant to be because 444 is my number and it was the last one left and i couldn't resist it so i'm going to use this as my gratitude journal and every single day, I'm going to make a point of writing down 10 things that I'm grateful for and not just what I'm grateful for, but also why I'm grateful for them because that is going to put some sort of weight behind them and make me actually think why I'm grateful for that in my life rather than just jotting down I'm grateful for food because that is so mindless in comparison to writing down why and how it makes you feel. So I'm going to do that right now and i'm gonna continue to start every single morning like this because i feel like it's just the perfect way to start your day and you can carry it throughout your day with you everything stems from gratitude manifestation abundance like the root of everything is all gratitude if you're not grateful the universe is not going to give you anything more so really been trying to focus in on gratitude so i encourage you guys to do that too it's going to be a summer full of gratitude so let's jot some things down and that'll be the end of my morning routine <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video i love a good classic morning routine on youtube i just feel like so classic and i love it so if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel because a lot of you guys watching right now aren't even subscribed which is crazy i could see it in the analytics i appreciate every single one of you especially if you say stay till this point and if you did comment below what time you wake up at with a heart emoji and i know you're a real one for staying till the end anyways i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video